Two people died in Long Island Sound when their boat overturned this weekend. News aides Kent Piers live along the water in New Haven this morning with the latest. Kent? And Jocelyn, all day yesterday, crews from the state, from Coast Guard, from local towns, were all scouring the waters of New Haven Harbor out here, looking for one of two victims in a boating accident that happened on Saturday night. The 911 call did not come in until Sunday morning. That's when another boater saw a 32-foot boat was capsized near the western breakwater on the edge of New Haven Harbor. That started the search. One body was pretty easy to find because it was on the breakwater itself. Officials had enough information that they knew they were still looking for one more more body, and they knew it was 53-year-old Michael Murphy. The Coast Guard, even with some resources down in Texas helping Harvey victims, was able to put a helicopter in the air to search the water deep, as well as dive teams from West Haven and Milford also helping out on the surface and below it. They finally located Murphy's body around 8.30 last night. The Coast Guard is still investigating, but they seem to have a pretty good idea what happened Saturday night. Navigating a vessel at high speed at night uh, is, is, a, is a high risk uh, operation, particularly inside a harbor, and that, that appears to have been the case here. It does not look like either body was wearing a life jacket, so keep that in mind as we head towards a holiday weekend with plenty of good boating weather. It is the law that you have to have enough life jackets for all the people on board. But think about how fast an accident can happen on a speedboat. Would you have time to go get a life jacket and put it on? The Coast Guard estimates life jackets could save the lives of more than 80% of the boating fatality victims that they see every year. So a good rule of thumb is if you're on a boat, a life jacket should be on you. Live in New Haven this morning, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.